There's some wonderful fishing in the Fitzroy River, which runs right through the central Queensland city of Rockhampton. Trailer boat access to the river and adjoining waterways can be found in a number of locations, including the most recently built launching facility on the northern side of the river off Reaney Street. This features a four-lane concrete ramp and parking for 90 cars and trailers. By following the Callaghan Park racecourse signs, this ramp provides easy access to some of the best fishing in the river. However, it should also be noted that saltwater crocodiles do inhabit these waters, so when using any boat ramps, you need to be crocodile aware. There's some excellent fishing nearby, particularly for barramundi and king threadfin, some of it a very short distance from this ramp. Thank you, Lou. Well done, you. <laughs> cool. Let's get a length on this guy. So he's about 81, 81 and a half to the fork, but 90, well, actually you get 98, near, near 98 and a bit to the tips. So not a bad fish. And that, believe it or not, is about average for the uh, Fitzroy River here in town. Now because uh, he's put in a pretty hard battle, I'm going to hold him in the water there and swim him for a little bit before I let him go. The central business area with its significant rock bars and bridges represents some of the best fish holding structure in the entire river. This stretch can also be accessed via a single lane ramp with eight car and trailer parking spaces, also off Rainy Street, right next to the Toft Street Bridge. This ramp's best used only during the top half of the tide, and it's more suited to smaller boats, but it's also the closest launching point to the bridges and rock bars. Another launching facility providing easy saltwater access lies on the south side of the river off Key Street, right in Rockhampton's central business district. With plenty of parking for cars and trailers, this three-lane ramp provides access to the river on all states of the tide. And while Barramundi and King Threadfin are the main targets for anglers, other varieties such as javelin fish or grunter are quite common here as well. There we go. Another victim for the fire tough flick bait. And that's a lovely javelin fish or grunter. It's just amazing the variety on offer here in the Fitzroy River around Rockhampton. You don't know whether you're going to catch a barra, a threadfin salmon, a blue salmon, one of these beautiful javelin fish or grunter. They're a brim, they're a flathead, all kinds of things right in the middle of town. There's access to the freshwater sections of the Fitzroy River above the barrage on the southern side of the river at the Ski Gardens off Ramsden Street. This facility has a one lane ramp and 20 car and trailer parks. Access is available to the freshwater on the northern side too, off Larkham Street in Kiwana via a one lane ramp with parking spaces for 30 cars and trailers. Both of these ramps give access to many kilometres of fresh water to fish, explore and enjoy the abundant wildlife. Be aware that there are saltwater crocodiles living in this area too, along with great fishing for Saratoga and Barramundi when the conditions are right. Access to the Fitzroy Delta, Keppel Bay and the top of Curtis Island is provided via the Port Alma launching area, located off the Port Alma Bar Jewel Road, approximately 50 minutes drive, southeast of Rockhampton along the A1 highway. This extensive area provides some exceptional fishing at times. The Port Alma ramp itself is fairly basic and wind, current or very low tides can make launching and retrieving a little bit tricky at times. If you enjoy fishing mangrove lined estuaries and creeks, you'll love this area and the wide variety of target species that it offers. Keppel Bay and the northern end of Curtis Island also present a broad range of blue water options. Some local knowledge and a good marine chart are extremely helpful for visitors to this area and any of the excellent tackle shops in Rockhampton will certainly give good advice. In addition to these existing facilities, two modern new boat launching facilities with ramps and parking areas are being planned for Casuarina and Inkerman Creeks, both also in the Port Alma region. Close to the township of Mount Morgan, just over half an hour's drive from Rockhampton, is the Mount Morgan No. 7 Dam, 
It features a single lane boat ramp and eight car and trailer parking spots, all in the midst of a great recreational park that's perfect for families. All in all, boaters and anglers are extremely well catered for in the Rockhampton and Lower Fitzroy region, meaning that locals and visitors alike can easily enjoy the exceptional standard of fishing, crabbing and cruising on offer in this gorgeous part of central Queensland. The fish are biting, so what are you waiting for?